Aki Lisa's role in Funimation and Nas, especially. While Aki Lisa is Lisa Beecham, literally in real life is a very realistic, you know, um, kind and, you know, cunning, and I mean, you know, cunning, you know, in the slickest way, shape, or form, you know, somebody that can call Uncle Tommy out who's so really ghetto. He's really plastic, he spells out plastic, but is anything but plastic. So it's pretty hard to deal with her because the way she comes at you is like a styrofoam cup. Popsicles in the fridge, you have to drive up a hill in order to see your kids. That shit was fire and crazy. Because what ended up happening, you know, in my manga, was she called me pay before, but she also called me fine as hell. Literally, and she talked like, Eris, that was the best decision you ever made. She's fucking crazy. Because I heard, you know, um, so much about this, literally, I literally saw the replay where uh, Aki Lisa was running like Double D, and then I'm getting into some shit like, literally, she's based off Double D, or at least a part of Soul's Uncle Tommy. And I was so into cartoons, RP, I was so into cartoons while I was over at Aki Lisa's house that I know the Time Warp Trio. I repeat the Time Warp Trio. All the way to a point where she's watching Dragon Ball Z characters and comparing it to food. She's very smart and intelligent, and the reason why anime, you know, was definitely, you know, uh, truly, um, fully socially accepted, like, a part of society. And of course not the part where it's, like, basketball, but stop being weird, you know, um, obnoxious, and stop people from calling it out for being Japanese, never. But it did become a part of the pop culture along with Hunter x Hunter T's a hot topic, and the Bible does a verse called Isaiah. And it was really, really hard, I mean, really hard. Because we think that we've done Sonny, you know, calling out the concept of his godfather. But in reality, he was a security guard that was fluid. To the point where literally, the days before Alpha Omega, we were like, we think we done Sonny. You, you may have think that you got Sonny, but then I was reminded that Sonny was over 30. And it wasn't over yet. We mastered Dragon Ball Z. We just beat T.I. It was established that we had an MEP. But we forgot that Sonny is the master of R. Kelly. I get the Mama Sita Zero and shit. Being like, I used to torture Mama Sita in the old world. There was a world where it was just this, this, and that. And then somebody brought it back. All the way to the point where we faced the demon artist in the Fire Nation. To where I had to call out that Sunny had the chocolate factory on CD. And then there's this running gag that I tortured Mama Sita in the old world by saying that Sesame Street character died and. The little kid was like, she'll be back next week. And they was all like, no, Bob the Tomato, that doesn't work that way. And I used to torture Mama Sita in the old world. He straight up said that Sonny been listening to R. Kelly. So, in doing so, what ended up happening was I made my auntie, a Jedi ghost, a projection that's based on Star Wars, and her name was Saint Mona Lisa. And she had the reputation of liking Gerald Grievous and Kimmy Martin. Which we already knew was happening in Ants, and Auntie Lisa was eventually gonna call Uncle Stami Norse Stamis eventually. That was my whole knowledge of, you know, um, the situation before. The whole deal with Nons. You see how that's not cheating? You got to go top class martial arts to freaking do that shit. And see, maybe biased, but I do bow this society with that quality. Because I understand it comes from criticism, but I also know as an artist, when we have a flow like mine, that both worlds have to cross off, because you need my creativity and drive, and I need your consistency. But when it comes to criticism, we have to listen to each other. Can't be ignoring charisma, and then, you know, making this excuse of graphic and design. Like in high school, I used to do this shit that you can literally put on MTV. I think you've seen it a thousand times on YouTube. But that's a stop by itself, and you should automatically put it on MTV. And then graphic and design, it becomes criticism, but the whole point is it could have been on TV. And it's hard to do, literally, when you get the videos from online and you don't, you know, own the footage. Which is why the puzzle media must evolve. But anyway, this is Auntie Lisa, St. Mona Lisa's profile video.